similarly a small sin when tolerated can become a bigger and bigger which will start controlling you just as big a good big thing gives you a direction a small wrong thing makes you fall and hurts all your growth so my friends if you remember these few things it will go a long long way in your character building this country needs each one you be the change don't wait for it. you be the change i be the change begin with i i be the change let me do these things myself let me be more honest let me be more patriotic let me have all the three h let me be a job giver let me take care of the small things in my life let me be the nation builder let me be a leader or a politician or a government servant who is a role model i don't care what is the consequences but i will be what i am supposed to be i will not seek approvals for that i will not wait whether my senior is honest or my junior is honest i will remain honest whoever i am in whichever position i am the biggest problem in this country is number 1 it's one it's corruption it's corruption corruption is the biggest thing that corruption has many forms just as dowry dowry ritual is corruption is corruption dowry is a form of corruption it's not asking for a bribe it's asking for a bride with a price and that is in the hands of the youth the boys who seek and the women who give both are wrong both are wrong the boys who ask and the girls who give in corruption the giver is equally wrong than the seeker so much of education is happening has the dowry problem gone down on the contrary it has increased it has increased and we say we are honest politician is corrupt or the policeman is corrupt or the bureaucrat is corrupt what about us we corrupt the system in our own ways do you realize this if the youth of this country did not want corrupt dowry it would have gone by now how many young men stand up and tell their parents we will marry for life companionship not for dowry the asking for dowry is an insult to us how many youth said raise your hands see the girls are clapping for you see the girls are clapping for you thank you how many girls will reject the man if he asks for dowry the day thank you the day this will happen indian youth will be the real new youth it will be the real youth it will be the true youth it will be the truly educated youth the day the social evil of dowry goes out of our indian marriage system indian youth will be a different youth parents will welcome daughters in their family the boy's family will get a daughter and the daughter's family will get a son but that will happen only if it's a respectful relationship and not a buying relationship education in the real sense should make this transformation 
and secondly the new indian youth will be united united on causes campaigns against dowry rejecting social evils like dowry or disrespect to a woman or domestic violence in any way that is the real youth being respectful towards the gender the female gender is the real youth you can have a difference of opinion but you don't have to beat each other or be violent towards each other and the third the new indian youth will be united it will take the government to task on how is it spending its money by use of right to information you as youth must know your right to information how is your village funds being spent how are your municipal funds being spent who is getting the contract what is the quality of work being done you have to be an enlightened youth you have to exercise your responsibility beyond the vote now these are your citizen responsibility all that i told you was a lot personal this is now citizen responsibility if you go to vote and you have a candidate which you don't like you don't have any candidate you like would you still vote would you still vote i'm asking you what will you do if you don't like any one of the candidates when you go to exercise your right to vote what will you do will you still vote will you not go to vote will you go to vote yes or no no you will go to vote you will all go to vote but you have a right to no vote how will you exercise the right to no vote by asking for a 49o form from the presiding officer asking for a form which gives you the right to none of the above you will fill that form to say i don't vote for any one of them but my vote be counted this way one day in any one's constituency it has to happen one day where the line for a no vote is longer than a right to vote but everybody is going to vote everybody goes to vote but the candidates get no vote but none of the candidates get a vote means none of you we reject you all this will be a very powerful message to the corrupt politicians so the strategy is the law is not my strategy the law is that you will go to the presiding officer of the polling booth and ask for an o form it's called the o form and the o form you will fill and fill in your details and say none of the above which means it's a vote of total rejection it's a vote you have casted your vote but you have rejected them all so supposing one candidate gets 5000 votes and he gets 20000 votes of rejection 20000 votes of rejection and 5000 votes of acceptance you think he will be considered elected it will be rejection now you might say then there will be nobody well let there be nobody but at least you don't have a wrong person you will see a repoll ordered and in that repoll cleaner and better people will start coming and then you will vote for cleaner people only then will better educated youth will come when the electorate starts rejecting the wrong candidates till then you will not get educated cleaner people because they'll know they will not be voted